Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back and welcome to the Live Another Live series. So at long last we become uh, the Guild Master and now we have access to the real payoff for doing the storyline so early in a character build and that is the Thieves' Caches. Now we get three in each of the main cities, give us a total of 15 and there's one in Soul Simon. If you haven't got access to that one yet, check out my early video showing you how to get it. Okay, let's crack on. Okay, I've just shown you my inventory there. Um, there's very little in it. Um, so we start here, you get the Guildmaster's Tribute Chest, 600 and other bits and bobs. Now, bear in mind, all this stuff spawns every 10 days. So you have to be out of the city for 10 days, each city that is, and then the caches will spawn again. Okay, so we can do the running Riften. Now the Riften ones become available to you soonever you actually join the Thieves Guild. The one in Solstheim becomes available to you once you join the Thieves Guild and you do that little quest for Glove of Manory. And again, check out the vid for that one. So here we go, a nice little speed run for you. And we come up into the barracks room in the castle. And round we go. A glass and we'll da -da 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 -da. Okay, that's uh, one done. Now we drop down towards the uh, the red flagon, also the ratway, and hook a right just here. Arrows, da -da. and then we head up to Breeze Home. Not Breeze Home, uh, Honeyside. This is the first play uh, playthrough I've ever done without owning Breeze Home. I'm really loving this um, alternate start. Okay, right, now, let's head over to White Run. And around here, there you go. I actually haven't done this uh, run through uh, for quite a while. And seriously guys, once you've done this, you don't have to worry about money again. You know, you can just uh, wait 10 days and respawn. So if you want to buy, say, Proud Spy Manor or any enchantment or something, you, you're always going to have money for it. That's why I so strongly recommend, oh, get out of the way. Oh, God, get out, oh, bloody animals. Uh, yeah, I so strongly recommend that you, you do this early on. Oh, come on. <laughs> they balls up my speed run. There you go, doesn't matter. And there's one just behind the pub. You know, because leaving a barrel full of jewels and expensive items behind the pub is really the safe place to put it. Okay, right. Next. Let's head over to my second least like city. My least like Windhelm. Our calf comes second. Right, just run down here. Okay. No, no. I'll just fast travel back up to the gates. I'll save a bit of time. Okay. 
And up to another player home. Where's the stairs? Got it. Oh, it's just here. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell I haven't done this for ages. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, oh, I should have gone along on the top there. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They all lead to the same place in the end. Yeah, if you're running along the top there, you get here quicker. Like I said, I haven't done this for ages, so... Yeah, it should be just... There it is. There you go. Okay, and next we'll do Solitude. And again, you put it in the most logical place you can think of, right next to a pub. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. That sounds like so creepy. Next one, there you go. And I'll show you what the whole uh, speed run gives you at the end. So definitely worth doing this, <laughs> it really is. Actually, aside from that, I still think it's one of the best storylines in the game. I really genuinely do, I love it. Okay, right, next. We're going to hit Windhelm. And... Oh, wrong way. Damn it. Yeah, should be down here. There you go, and if you see a lot of people hanging around this grave, just run to the side away from the guards so you don't get snared in the, uh, I can't remember what the quest is name now, On Thin Ice, whatever it is, I'm not sure. There's probably one quest that I hate, it's buggy as hell, and it's, it's a horrible quest. Okay, there's your first one. Now all this stuff, bear in mind, is definitely levelled. So, the higher level you're coming, the better the gear you're going to get. So, how do you feel about all the racist Nords in Windhelm? Whilst I agree we shouldn't be encouraging these elves into Skyrim, bullying isn't the answer. Even confining them to a slum with an insulting name is just going to cause civil unrest. But what do I know? Okay, all the way down to where the gate is, and then what you do is hook a lift up these stairs. And she's the one that became the fence, that's her home. I'm not sure if she's marriable or not, but she's got a decent, well, it's yeah, it's not a bad home. And then we go down here. And this is if you follow any of my guys where you do your speech training. Navry's Wares or whatever it's called. There you go. Okay, next one is we head over to Solstheim. Just pop downstairs. Now this is where um, I'd uh, done the first uh, run through. There's lots of stuff in here that you uh, wouldn't normally get, uh, but the thieves cache respawns, and some of this stuff respawns, by the way. So you won't be getting all this all the time. I 
that you could get a good price for oh fyi they minutes. do say that lesser to sapphire does uh, respawn it's never respawned for me uh, and definitely all this stuff doesn't respawn but i'll just show you why it's worth doing that particular quest you walk out with a whole heap of gold and uh, lots of goodies Okay, uh, nothing else left down here. Okay, so let's have a little looky at what we've actually got on the weapons. Daedric Arrow is 50, uh, Ebony Arrow is 31, Glass Arrow is 73. Uh, loads of glass weapons because we're at that level at the moment. Now you will be getting Daedric stuff and, and all sorts of stuff in the, in the, uh, in these. But obviously if you're at a lower level, um, obviously it's going to be lower level gear. You know, however, at, at a low level, this gives you the start you need so, to buy your houses, to buy uh, weapons and enchantments and ingredients or whatever you want. It's really, really a good start for you. So there you look at all those. Flawless rubies, garnets, sapphires. There you go. Lockpick 61. It's all there. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you found it useful. Do do the Thieves Guild quest. See you next time. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.